Hi everyone, Craig Lemaire, Moss Studios. Um, this month my article is on probably my very favorite light modifier of all light modifiers, the Beauty Dish. Uh, the reason I like Beauty Dishes so much is the light produced fits dead in the middle between something super soft as if you're using a 4x6 or a really hard light source if you're using let's say barn doors. I just I just like the light that fits dead middle of that. Um, in the article I talk about the different coatings, uh, what the different colors do uh, on a with the beauty dishes. And we have a white dish here and a silver dish here and the biggest differences between the two are using the white dish your light's going to spread a lot further and it's going to be a, a lot softer light source. When you use the silver dishes, the silver dishes uh, act more like a spotlight, so it really concentrates that light right to wherever you're pointing it. I'd say the only thing you need to be careful of when you're using these silver dishes is that the light is so precise that if you're not metering constantly, that you could very easily get hot spots uh, by not paying attention using this thing. Um, one of the other things I talk about in the article are the accessories that you use with the beauty dishes. Probably the number one accessory that I recommend you using are grids. Uh, these are the grids that go inside the beauty dishes and they basically just sit inside here and what they do is they help contain the light so you're able to really precisely stick that light wherever you want it. Um, these grids come in different degrees and basically what the degrees of the grid do is let so much light in or, or, or doesn't let the light get out to your subject. Um, the other accessory that a lot of people use with their beauty dishes is this little piece of fabric here with the elastic and we call it a sock. And basically this sock goes on the outside of your beauty dish and what it does in essence is it kind of turns this beauty dish into a small octobox and for me I rarely rarely use a sock because when you put it on it takes away kind of all the good stuff that a beauty dish is for in the first place uh, the only time I ever use my sock is outside uh, it, about dusk and the only reason I do it then is because I kind of want to mix the light from this with the light that's outside and make it a little more natural uh, and this will make it so it's not so hard. Um, the other thing I talked about in the article is the size of the beauty dishes. They come in a lot of different sizes just like uh, soft boxes do. You have 16 inch dishes, 22 inch dishes, 28 inch dishes, uh, 33, 43 inch dishes. Um, this here like I said is a 22 inch dish. Uh, this is probably the most common size that, that you see out there. Um, the other size dish that some people use is a 16 inch dish and most of those people are using those with speed lights and I talk about in the article that I'm not a big fan of that. I really think there's a more effective way to get light uh, than to use those uh, 16 inch dishes. This here is a 28 inch beauty dish. This happens to be my all time favorite modifier of all modifiers. This is my Molisetti. I talk a little bit about it in the article. Um, it is a little bit of an investment. You know, you're looking at $79 here and you're looking shipped to you right around $700, $750. Um, but for me, it's worth every penny. Well, I hope you get something out of the article and I hope that it uh, maybe entices you to try Beauty Dish if you've never tried it before. I think you're going to love them once you get used to them. Uh, once again, thank you. I'll see you guys next month.